Between January and February this year in Baltimore, 177 people were involved in homicides and non-fatal shootings. A new report focuses on the number of them who were on probation or parole at the time. The report finds 45% of murder victims in those two months were under supervision. 37% of all victims and suspects were under supervision. And in most cases reviewed, the report said, the department failed to follow its own policy of an after-incident report. One type of review should have been done in 32 cases we looked at. It was done as required in four of those cases. The report recommends a new fatality review process to more deeply examine cases that involve people under supervision. And I think ensuring that there's proper infrastructure in place as these individuals are reintegrated into society and making sure that they have the proper tools and um, uh, opportunities available so that they can be um, productive members of our community again is an essential part of uh, reducing the risk of um, harm to others in the community as well. The Secretary of Public Safety took no position on the recommendation during a legislative hearing today. He said the agency has two analysts in the city police department and agents that work out of police districts. And most of the near 15,000 people under supervision in the city, he said, follow the rules. Of that 14,972, 86% were in compliance with their conditions as reviewed by staff. A couple of legislators mentioned today, in their opinion, this is more than just than about just compliance with the rules of probation or parole. They want the agency to dig deeper into the lives of the people under its supervision to figure out what other factors are involved, housing, employment, substance abuse, all of those kinds of conditions. Reporting live tonight from East Baltimore, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.